Hey there folks, in this video I'm going to show you how you can edit similar objects simultaneously with an awesome time saving feature called Global Edit. As you can see I've got two landscape poster designs, on each a certain style of snowflake that I wish to change the appearance of, however it varies in size and in colour. So rather than going around each snowflake and make the same changes over and over again, I want to use Global Edit to edit them simultaneously. So with that selection tool active, I'm going to left click on one of the smaller snowflakes on the left hand artboard. That'll give Illustrator a point of reference and then you can go to the control panel and you can click on start global editing. It's an icon mode. You've got the same option down at the bottom of the properties panel in a named button called start global edit. Either which you click on and you start global editing. You'll notice then that Illustrator has selected and highlighted anything that's identical in terms of structure. I don't however want to edit anything on the right hand artboard. So if I click on global editing options in here, I can go down to select and then I've got all artboards, portrait, landscape or square. Well, they're both landscapes, so that doesn't really help. But if I choose range and type in the number of the artboard, it's only selecting anything on the first artboard. Also, just off the top of the artboard is a snowflake that I'm going to use in a different design later on and I don't want to edit that one. So you can turn off include objects on canvas and you'll notice having turned that off, anything off the artboard will be deactivated. I'm going to edit the smaller snowflakes in here so then I can choose size. You'll now notice that it's only picked up four additional items that are the same. I'll press the return key to make that pop-up disappear and I'll make the artboard fit in the window. I'm going to go to the fill icon I'm going to change that to a lighter white in there and then press return. You'll notice that all of the same snowflakes of the same size have now been edited. When you're done you can click on stop global edit. I'll deselect that shape and then select the larger white snowflake lower down. I'll go back to start global edit and it highlights two further snowflakes on the same artboard. Now in the second window that I've made, just so you can see it's a bit clearer, you can also add content to your shapes. So if I pick up my ellipse tool and then click and drag and draw additional shapes in here, you'll notice that all of the other snowflakes update instantaneously. Whether it's transformations or colour or structural changes, Global Edit can be a really great time saver. Thanks for watching folks. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to save time and create great looking artwork, subscribe and click on the bell and you won't miss a thing. And until next time, farewell.